Ernest Lawrence was one of the most kind of fascinating 20th century, century characters I knew nothing about. So when I got the role, I just went and read as many books as I could on him to kind of find out everything I could. The fact that he started the Rad Lab, the fact that he was the first person to kind of be in charge of this project, uh, the fact that he was the first American physicist to win a Nobel Prize in his 30s. Uh, I mean, he was just a remarkable human being. In these uh, books, these biographies, they said that he was sort of a mixture between Barnum and Bailey and like your typical physicist. Like he was very good at communicating with people in a way that most physicists aren't. You know, they're sort of recalcitrant, dark, moody, kind of like Oppenheimer, but he was a much more ebullient character who was able to kind of bring people in. And I wanted to kind of give that vibe to him. And so I gained a bunch of weight. Killian had the hard job losing a bunch of weight. I just got to eat whatever I wanted. We went out to dinner one time and he was so angry with me. So I was just like, I'll have a dessert, I'll have a second dessert, you know, and he was just, yeah. Poor guy starving himself. It's a dream I think most actors have to work with Chris. And I've I've known him for a long time. I missed an opportunity to work with him early on in my career and to be able to be called back up essentially, like to, to work with him was a fantastic thing and like a dream come true. So I was just before I even before I even read the script, honestly, I was like, yes, I will do this. Yeah. So it was kind of a family atmosphere because we were in the middle of New Mexico, as you say, in this place. We were shooting on this place called Ghost Ranch, which is just outside of Abiquiu, which is uh, where uh, Georgia O'Keeffe has her museum and where she lived. So it's absolute middle of nowhere. And we were all staying in these little cabins right next to each other all lined up and so we'd go out to dinner every night and we'd talk about the day's work or just kind of BS and it was just it felt like an old school type of film that you wouldn't really see these days it felt like making something like The Misfits or something back in the early 60s and the film felt, felt almost like we were in the 40s so it was so easy to get into character the next day you know it was really really cool most memorable moment honestly all of them were memorable because all of the actors are so kind and so easy going and I have like I've worked with a lot of really interesting actors over the years and a lot of big egos and on this set it just seemed like everybody's egos melted away I don't know if they had them to begin with because nobody brought that and it was so it was so pleasant to be on a set where everyone was there to do the same job everybody recognized that it took us all to get it done and there was no uh, there's no grandstanding. It was it was incredible. Yeah, very very cool. Very unlike.